Hi all, welcome to my channel on basic mathematics and in this tutorial we are going to look at quadratic equations and how to solve them. So first of all let's see what is a quadratic equation. Now this is the general form of a quadratic equation. You have ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Here you can see that there is one variable that is x but you have the x to the power 2 and just the x value. And this a, b, c are the coefficients that you are having in the equation. a is the coefficient in front of x squared, b is the coefficient in front of x and c is the constant. By uh, uh, separating these coefficients into this equation, we can easily find out the x value. Uh, in a quadratic equation, you will get two answers and the two answers can be obtained by this equation. Here you can see there's this plus or minus sign. That means there are two answers. One answer will be the plus value and the other answer will be the minus value. Now we will look at an example. Now this is the example, you have 3x squared minus 5x minus 2 equals 0. So the first thing we have to do is we have to identify what is a, what is b and what is c. In this equation, the a value or the coefficient in front of x squared is 3 and the b value is the coefficient in front of x that is minus 5 and the c value is minus 2. So what we are going to do is we are going to substitute these a, b, c values into the equation and then you can get the answers. Now here. This is the equation and I am substituting the values. So as you can see, the B value is minus 5. This, the B value is minus 5 and this minus is part of the equation that we are taking. Therefore, this minus and minus will be multiplied with each other and you will get a plus 5. And then you have B squared that is minus 5 squared minus 4 into 3 into C is minus 2 and 2 into 3. So once you simplify this one, you will get plus 5 as I told you earlier. This minus along with the minus that you get in this minus uh, will be multiplied and it will become plus 5 and plus or minus 25 plus 24 and you will get the square root of that that will be 7. So finally you will get x equals 5 plus or minus 7 divided by 6. So now as I told you earlier there are two answers x1 will be the plus value 5 plus 7 divided by 6 and x2 will be the minus value that is 5 minus 7 divided by 6. Here you will get 12 divided by 6 that is 2 and x2 is minus 2 divided by 6 that is minus 1 over 3. So these are the two answers which will satisfy the quadratic equation.